Hello, it's the Crap Goth and I'm here for another unboxing video. And yes, of course, I'm in my pyjamas again because why not? So actually, some people have been asking me recently, where do I get my pyjamas from? Because these are super soft and super fluffy. So this one actually came from Primark. So all you UK people know Primarni is a good place to chop at. It's nice and cheap. But TikTok shop at the moment have a lot of winter wear stuff in. So it's just teddy bear fleece and it's really nice and really soft. And pyjamas are still clothes, so clothes are still getting dressed in the morning, so I wear my pyjamas most of the time because I don't leave the house. So there you go, a bit of a tip for you. Right, I have some amazing packages here. So some of them have been here for quite a while. Obviously, you know the situation with what's been going on, and if you don't, go back and look at my previous videos. Um, I've had a few parcels which have been looking at me for quite a while. I'm slowly starting to get through them now once I get my confidence back up into filming again. And so I'm not sure how long some of them have been here, but um, some are in my name, some are um, for the Crap Goth slash Crack in the Box, which is obviously things that make me think that they could be for Corey as well. Now, I don't know if some of these were presents were sent before Corey passed away for him um, or if they were intended for now. Um, so I apologise to anybody who has sent anything um, with the intention of Corey obviously receiving the presents and he's no longer here to do that. But I can promise you that they'll be very, very, very treasured. Very treasured. Right. I'm also going to make you aware that I am on medication at the moment, um, which is one of my trigger words, actually. But um, I've been struggling quite a lot with my anxiety, panic attacks, depression, obviously everything going on. Um, so I'm currently on meds that make me very, very sleepy. They make me stumble over my words. They make me very foggy headed as well. So if I come across a little bit tired or my eyes don't look right, like they probably don't, I am exhausted. Um, it's because I'm in the loading phase of taking meds again it's just it's one of those things that I've needed to do for a while I've not wanted to do but there we are so we've uh, got a little bit of a backstory before I even start unboxing but I have a few a few items down here I'm going to keep this video fairly short don't worry it's not going to be like two hours long um, and just a massive thank you in advance to everybody who still continues to support me across all the platforms it's massively appreciated whether it's messages through Facebook or Instagram, Twitter. I'm on TikTok as well, at Pixie Crap Goth, so come and have a look on there. Um, there's videos of Corey on there as well, which is really nice as well. Um, people who reach out, like writing me letters, not just sending physical gifts, which is always obviously absolutely amazing and also enables to be do, enables me to, undo, to do unboxing videos. I will get there eventually. But obviously it's really nice just to hear from people. So actually getting physical letters is lovely as well. Um, but I get a lot of a lot of messages which I wake up to in the morning and it's heartwarming to know that I'm not on my own through this. You know, there are other people who, as awful as it sounds, going through the same thing that I'm going through. But there's also a lot of people there to pick me up as well. So thank you so much to each and every single person who carries on to, to support this channel. I am going to struggle this video because, oh, I'm honestly, I am struggling to speak at the moment. I am so doped up on these meds. It's just, oh my gosh. The proper, the proper, the blah, 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 blah. right. Should we start that one again then? <laughs> the proper prescribed med medicines. They're just, like I said, they're just for anti-anxiety and things like that. But um, because I don't ever take medicines, I am very, very sensitive to it. So um, the, even the smallest of doses affects me a lot, and I am absolutely exhausted. I mean, it's twenty past one in the afternoon, and I've just, I've only just woken up. I'm, I'm knackered. But right, let's crack on with these amazing gifts from you guys and see what I've got. Thank you so much. Right, okay, so first of all, we have a box down here which was shipped to the house. And this is, a, it's got a gift bag in it, which is really nice. I'm keeping most of the boxes off camera because I do have my address on. Some have the PO box on because my son has a PO box and also has an Amazon wish list. And so some things have come through the PO box for me. So I will show the PO box address, but that's, uh, everything else will be hidden. A little bag. I love these bags as well. So this is um, some Solar Garden Love and Fireworks from the Sun America Bella Bella Bing Bing Puppy from Marcella. Oh my gosh! So solar lights are fantastic. Thank you so much, Marcella and Bella. So Marcella and Bella are friends of ours. They are in America. Hello, Marcella. Hello, Bella, and hello, little kitty kitty. Because I know you just got a new kitten. Um, a lot of people are sending. Um, solar lights and plants and decorations but at the moment because we're doing a memorial garden for my little boy Corey. If you don't know what's happened there, like I said, please go back and look on my previous videos. 
um, and things like this are absolutely gorgeous. We love making the garden pretty, especially at night time. It's so nice. And this is really difficult to open again. But honestly, things like this are massively appreciated. It makes the garden look so nice. I'm going to have to pause it because I can't open it. Oh, kidding. The people who did that ribbon flipping egg. It's really, really tight. But um, yeah, like I was saying, um, at the moment we're currently doing a little memorial garden which is on the decking which is literally outside of this room here. Now, I'm not filming in my studio at the moment, I will be back in my studio very very soon. I'm currently in the living room, I will be going back into the studio once I actually get um, things ready because I've just, so let me just turn up the light a bit. I've not really wanted to go in there without being um, kind of with Corey. So we have at the moment, we have a beautiful decked area just outside of this room here, which has got lots of things on for Corey. And the landscape is coming this week, which is amazing. We have a hundred foot long garden and we're doing the whole garden beautifully, but at the very end of the garden, which is closest to where the cemetery is, where, where my little boy is, we're doing the most beautiful memorial garden. And this is where all of these things will go. So anybody who sends anything for Corey, be it plants, wind chimes, solar light, anything, they will all go into the garden for Corey. So we have here some flexible string lights. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. I'm seeing that it really, really does mean a lot. Thank you. Now these look as though they're quite long, so I'm not going to get them all out, but I will show you. But we have lots and lots of copper wire there though. So I think, oh my gosh, are these more of the firework lights? So Marcella actually sent through not long ago these most gorgeous they're like fireworks they're like sticks and they come out like this and honestly this one with Corey and it looks absolutely stunning it lights up so brightly and these look as though they could be similar which is incredible but they're kind of joined together so I will get those out at some point I'll do a video tour of the garden once we have all of the lights out so thank you so much Marcella and Bella and little kitten for that that's really really beautiful thank you I've got one here. Now, I will say something else as well. I have ordered a few items myself off TikTok. So if I open something, it might actually be a present from me to me. I don't actually know. But this one, I've also lost my scissors, so I'm using the biggest knife possible. This one says it's to Pixie. Oh, it's a sea ball. So this is not something that I've ordered, I don't think. This is from the, oh, this is to the PO box as well, so I definitely have not ordered it. There we go, there's the PO box address, which is amazing. So thank you so much to everybody who sends things through that. Oh wow, gosh. So it doesn't look as though there's any notes with this, but look at this. How cool is that? So you've got a forget-me-not wildflower seed balls, which are absolutely incredible. Oh my gosh, 50 balls with 2,500 seeds. We've got two packets of those, which is amazing. And then we've got some information leaflets as well about protecting the bees and about wildlife, which is absolutely incredible. Does that come with a note at all? Who is it from? Oh, the buyer's name is Laurie. So thank you so much, Laurie, for that. That is lovely. So this was actually ordered in July. But, um, it was ordered after Cory passed. So I think this was actually for, yeah, for Cory's garden. So Laurie, thank you so much. That is absolutely really really lovely thank you very very much they will be sown in spring which would be amazing thank you so much got another PO box which is incredible there we go so just just on the off chance because you ask me I get a lot of people asking me what is the PO box address it was used for Corey but some people are sending things so th this is it if you want to pause your screens there is the PO box address there you go so thank you so much honestly everything is absolutely treasured thank you so much so, I've got no idea what this one is. The PO Box ones are always Corey's favourites because he never knew what they were going to be either. Oh, it's a little gift bag. Oh, there's two little gift bags. Oh, wow. Okay. As always, I said with everything, these little labels, I keep all of them and they go into chests into Corey's room because I like to save everything. So, this first one says, something for the Captain Pixie. Huge hugs to the whole family from Pat Shannon. Oh, I don't know when this was sent either, so I'm really... This th this bit always kind of like gets me because I'm thinking, oh no, what if it's something which was meant for Corey and obviously he was too ill to open it. So this one's for Captain Corey and it's from Pat Shannon. Let's have a quick look. Thank you so much. 
these little gift bags are so cute as well. They're absolutely gorgeous. They're tied so well. What is this? Oh, it's like a little stone. Oh, wow. Gosh, it's beautiful. I, right, I don't know if you can tell on here. It's a stone, which is, it's got rainbow colours in it. I don't know if you can, can, yeah, you can see that on camera. Look how absolutely stunning that is. So what I've done is, this is probably four. I'm not, I'm not saying this is definitely what it is, but I put out um, a little thing earlier to say that we were going to do um, what's called a, a rock garden, um, or a rock river for Corey. So I'm going to have a little garden bridge put up and then I'm going to have lots of beautiful rocks. So if people from all over the world wanted to send him a rock, now whether that's um, a piece of concrete um, or a stone or something you've picked up off the floor and you've written on in Sharpie, or something you've designed in like a marker pen or whatever, and, and then we could seal it and put it in the garden for Corey, or any kind of rocks or stones you see, if you go on the beach, you find a shell you like, you can send it for him. We will put it in his garden for him. So this will go with Corey's garden. That is stunning. Thank you so, so much. That is beautiful. And there's a secondary one, which says something for the Captain Pixie. And again, it's from Pat Shannon. So I'm wondering if there's another one. The beautiful little gift bags. We save these gift bags as well because they make gorgeous presents for Christmas, which is really, really nice. Oh, for recycling. Oh, So pretty. I, lo I love things like this as well. They're so, so pretty. Oh, it's another one. We've got two of them. They are, oh, there we go. Then there's a the second one. Let's try to get it look. There we go. Absolutely gorgeous. And there's... Look, I mean, just look at the markings on there, aren't they stunning? They're almost like veins in there. They're absolutely beautiful. They're gorgeous. Thank you so much. They are beautiful and they will go into Corey's Memorial Garden. So thank you so much for those. They're lovely. Oh, thank you. That was just the knife on the floor. Don't worry about that. Okay, we have another one. So this is to me. Again, I don't know. It's to my home address. So this actually could be something I've bought. Or it might not be. Something flying out. A little sticker. I've had it when I've had to. I've been sat there with a with a, with a parcel once. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I've got this parcel. I've been so excited thinking it was a present. And it's something that I bought myself ages and ages ago. And I felt so stupid. But this is, oh yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you for always being such a lovely buyer. I hope so. It is something I bought myself. Possibly something from um, Vinted. So, oh, a little Caribbean sticker. So, Shall see what I've been buying myself then? I can't remember what this is. Oh my gosh, so yes, this is a lovely lady. I can't remember her name offhand. Um, so I buy a lot of make makeup from her. Um, and I've just bought this, this little bag. This is from Vintage. She is so nice. I can't remember her, her, her seller name, otherwise I would say it now. Um, but um, I buy a, a, buy a lot of um, cosmetics called Flower Nose. And they're so pretty. And she is so nice. So I bought this little bag from her, which is from Vintage. And this is going to go for my smart dolls. I wish I could remember your name. I'm so sorry I can't. So if you're watching this, thank you so much because you are such a lovely person. And she is a lovely lady who I buy regularly from off Vintage. And this is so gorgeous. How beautiful is that? This is perfect for my smart dolls. Bonus. Okay, so the next one I have here. Now this one, I think I know what this one is and this has been here for ages, absolutely ages. So this was actually made, um, I, I believe if this is what I think it is, this was made before Corey passed. Um, and it was made by one of my friends and um, I just never got around to opening it with everything going on with Corey and everything. So. This says Pixie the Warrior Queen, and I think it's from my friends. Oh my gosh, but it's really made I don't know, because there's lots in here. That's not what I was expecting. I had a really high pitch then. There's lots in here. So we have one, okay, two, three, four. Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, and so what's that? this so this is this is from oh I see it's from Becky so this is the person who um made Corey's gigantic knitted phallic object <laughs> if you haven't seen that video go back and go back and it says Corey got what in the mail it was hilarious so um Becky knit not knit, sure she crochets I think she her page is called why cat why crochet and she's done me this beautiful card which is really cool 
and it says, I hope you, I hope I can read your writing now. It says, <laughs> hey love, hope all is well. By the time this gets to you, I assume you will be out of the hospice. So I hope you had a good time making memories with everyone's favourite captain. I also hope your ass isn't too bruised from nerve attacks. So yeah, Corey and I had gone off to stay in the hospice for quite a while. I think we've been there for like two weeks. And Corey is literally shot me in the arse all the time with nerf bullets. He was, he was a nightmare for it. Um, you're a naughty word there, Becky. You're a flipping amazing warrior, and I'm absolutely in awe of your strength and courage. You show, um, you show your lovely kids every day. Remember, strength doesn't mean never having a cry. I bloody love a good ball. It's good for the soul. Uh, as for the jump, if if the jumper doesn't fit, just send it back, and I'll make you another one. No worries. Um, effing huge love and respect to you and the fam from my boys and wretched cats, Bex. P.S. Excuse the shite packaging. I despise the Insta Curo of three pounds of fancy wrapping that will just get lobbed in the bin. I try and say as eco-friendly as possible and reuse all, use leftover gift wrap, etc. Try to use compostable bin post bags, but only one ever arrived. It's destination without a ripping. Oh, bless you. Oh, you're so cool. Honestly, Becky, you're fantastic. Go and check out her page. Like I say, it's Why Cat Why Crochet. Um, I think that's right, hopefully. She sent me some little extra bits, which is really cool. So we've got a little smiley face, which is so cool. I love the rainbow. That's funky. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. Corey would have loved this. There's a skull, which is absolutely bloody brilliant. I, I don't even need to tell that. It's, so, it's almost luminous. It's amazing. And a little pink skull as well which is cool. It's like the Punisher school. That's really funky. Thank you so much, Becky. That's amazing. We've got this little parcel. So, oh, Spanky. It says Spanky, but should we open it anyway? Ah, sod it. Let's open Spanky's. I didn't know she was sending extra things. Um, I'm going to open your Spanky, I'm sorry. But, uh, so this says for Spanky, a big one to fit dreads. Oh, she's made him a, oh, she's made him a hat. That's really cool. So Spanky, my husband, has really long dreadlocks right down his back and that'll keep him toasty warm. Oh, thank you so much, Becky. I know I'm opening other people's things on there, but you can't not, can you? That's amazing. Thank you so much. And we've got this one that says Ostara. Now, obviously, normally I wouldn't open these things, but I want to show you guys what she's made. So I will give this to Ostara when she finishes school. It's pink, so she'll be very happy at that. Oh... The little labels are cute, Becky. Look, so there we go, look. Come on, yeah, look. So WCW Y Cat Y. There we go. That is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, it's a little scarf. Look at that. That is so cute. And a little love hearts and stuff, look. And it's all bumpy. That is well sweet. Oh my gosh. Oh, thank you so much, Becky. That is absolutely adorable. I love it. Oh, she's going to love the colours. Her favourite colour is pink. She's like her mummy, which is really good. This one's for Ebony. Oh, I'm going to open Ebony's. Like I said, I wouldn't normally open everyone else's parcels, but this is on a YouTube video, so you guys want to know what's in this, don't you? And Ebony's away at university, so I don't know what I'm going to see her next. Um, I don't even know if she watches my videos, but if you do, Ebony, you know what you've got now, sorry. This is for Ebony. So Ebony is my 20 year old. She is currently away studying. Oh, oh, it's that little headband. That is so pretty. Oh my gosh, I love the colours on that. That is stunning. Thank you. And the little labels again, look, which is so cute. It almost looks like a little skull and crossbones, which is really cute. Oh, thank you, Becky. That is absolutely gorgeous. Thank you for that. She will really love that. And then this is the one, this is the one that I wanted and I'm so excited to see this because I haven't seen it for ages. I'm, oh my gosh, I've been wanting to open it and I've just been in the, such a crappy headspace. So, oh my gosh. It's got my favourite colours in it, which is pink and black, which is amazing. Oh my gosh, you made me this. Oh my gosh. So, ta-da! It's a jumper. But it's not just the jumper like that, which is absolutely amazing and is so colourful and so lovely. Pink and black are literally my favourite colours. But it has a spider web on the back because I keep tarantulas, which is absolutely funky. 
how cool is that and this with big massive goth stompy boots and black leggings is going to be so awesome in winter so thank you so much becky please go to why cat why crochet i'll try and see um i will put a link in in the description because i'll probably be editing this video i'm not very good at editing videos so i will put um her facebook link in the description of the video so go and check her out she's really cool thank you so much i love it thank you becky got another gift bag which is really exciting so this is uh to gypsy a little love from your captain corey and marcella bing bing oh my gosh so this gypsy is my dog so um she's not in here at the moment because she's a nightmare when i'm filming she's a little runt she's a little sprudel she is so cute and she's my therapy dog and she goes everywhere with me pretty much um she is so sweet and she's so lovely but when i'm filming she tries to get on my knee and all sorts so she's out of the room at the moment and this is from marcella and bella so thank you so much let's see what this is if this is a toy with a squeaking i'm gonna go mad <laughs> because you won't stop squeaking all the time so hopefully it's not oh box this cory bee is a box within a bag within a box within a bag oh my god oh your new friend has arrived where did I put that gigantic massive knife that I shouldn't ever lose? Oh, it's there. It's because, by the way, kids, if you're watching, don't use knives to open parcels. It's just because I've lost my scissors, that's all. So always be sensible. Um, don't lose knives either. That's really, really responsible. Oh my gosh. The set of the tape is super strong. Let's see what we've got here. Happy Haunting. Oh, it's a Halloween toy, which is really cool. Oh my God, that is so cool. So it is now the, it's the third. I think it might be the third, the second or the third of October. Don't ask me, I'll lose track really easy. It's a Halloween pet toy, which is, oh, it's not just that, it's a pirate one. Oh my gosh. So this is why it's from Captain Corey as well. Obviously Corey was a pirate, or is a pirate. That is, and it squeaks. Thanks for that, Marcella. Oh my God, that is actually really, really cute. Look at that, how gorgeous that is. That is awesome. And, and if I remember rightly, uh, Marcella sent me a little video. Um, I think Bella's got one of these as well, which is really, really cool. So a gypsy will run around with, 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 with teddies all day long. She never rips them to pieces. She just runs around with them and slashes them. So thank you so much. That is absolutely gorgeous. Thank you, Marcella. That is so, so cute. Gypsy will be one happy dog later, I'll tell you honestly. Right, so we've got this one here. Um, what is this? So this is addressed to me. Um, I have opened it pre, but I've not taken anything out of it, so I don't know what it is. Um, oh, oh, this is from Alma. Oh, so this is from Nana. Oh, and this is, is it's a tin sign. And it says, my little piece of heaven. And it comes with, I'm not going to be careful, it comes with like some, some, some little sticky things. So I think this was actually from the, from the Amazon wish list because I put a few items down when people said to me, look, please, we put some things down for Corey's um, memorial garden because we don't really know what to get for him. And I'm pretty certain this is one of the things I put down, which was um, a sign for his garden because um, Corey really wanted a garden. He really wanted an eco garden and it's going to be somewhere where I'm going to sit and I'm going to be able to go in winter because obviously the winter months are coming now and sit amongst all the beautiful plants and all the lovely signs and the solar lights and be so much closer to the cemetery because it's only behind our house. And this is part of that. So that is beautiful. It's beautiful. Thank you so much. Oh, so, I mean, it says it's from Alma. The only Alma I know is American Nana. So thank you so, so much. It is beautiful. Thank you. And that will go up in Corey's garden. You will see it because I'm going to do a video on the garden. So you will see all of the progress. They're due to start this week. They're coming this week with heavy plant machinery. It's so exciting. Right, this one is, oh, Pixie Open ASAP. This is to the PO box. So I'm going to cover that bit up because that bit's come from my, my address. So there we go. Open ASAP. I'm not quite sure what this one is. Okay. Okay. Look, okay. well, it's like a little case. This is so cute. Where is this from? Oh, look, there's like some, some little tiny bag charms, which is really cute. 
And there's a suitcase. What? This is like a smart little suitcase. How cool is that? So, oh, I keep going on about my smart dolls. So, my, oh, hang on a second. I'll go and get one. Right, I came back. So I keep saying, oh, this is for my smart dolls. This will fit my smart dolls. So um, for those people who are new to the channel and my crap cool thing has fallen down, there we go, is um, I collect something called Danny Chew Smart Dolls. They're two foot tall dolls. This is one of my dolls. She is incredible. She's got the, the, the same scar on the chest that Corey had. She's huge, see? She's massive. And I like to collect things which can actually go with them. And look at the side of the suitcase, look. That, that case would go with a smart doll. So let's put her down, keep her safe there. I'm not quite sure who this is from. Or... Oh my God, how cool is that? Oh, the handle goes up and everything. So it's like a real case. Oh my gosh, that is absolutely, who is that from? Does it say who it's, there's no note whatsoever. It just says, please open ASAP. I don't know who, who this is from, so honestly, whoever has sent me this really awesome case, thank you so much. Together be happy. That is absolutely brilliant. I love it. And so, so look at the size of the case compared to the smart doll. There you go. That's wicked. That's amazing. Thank you so much, whoever you are who sent me that. That is so nice. Thank you ever such a lot. Um, if you have sent this, obviously you haven't left your name or anything, so please, please pop down in the comments down below who you are so I can say thank you. Oh, I love miniatures. That is absolutely adorable. Maybe this means travel is on the horizon. I have been invited to go to America next year, which is really amazing. Um, I don't travel ever, 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 so that would be incredible. I have another one here. So this one says Pixie for Unicorn. So this makes me think, this is, it also says... Pixie for Unicorn, Captain Corey, P.O. Box. So I'm wondering, um, Pixie for Unicorn? Unicorn would make me think it's potentially for Ostara. Um, but obviously it's through Corey as well, so I'm not quite sure. I'm going to open this very carefully. I'm not sure who this is for, but hopefully for Ostara. I'm going to pause it while I open it, two secs. Oh my gosh, there is so much in here. Look at all of that in there. So this makes me think this is for Ostara. Well, oh, I really hope there's a note in here because there's so much in here. So there is, got some pencils, some unicorn pencils, which are adorable. She loves doing crafts and things. Some little unicorn erasers or rubbers, as we call them over here. Uh, beautiful. Oh, another one, which is so cute. What are these? Growing unicorn animals, 12 soft foam animals grow fast in water. That is wicked, look at that. She is absolutely going to love this. As you probably gathered by now, Ostara is unicorn obsessed. Like literally she wears unicorn pyjamas, unicorn blankets, all her toys are unicorns. She loves them. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm not going to take these out of the wrappers because I want, to, I want her to do that. But there's a little unicorn hat and it looks like it's got the two little bubbles on it which is perfect because the colder weather's coming in. So thank you so, so much for that. It's absolutely so cute. That is gorgeous, thank you. And the little mini backpack, which is, which again, is absolutely gorgeous. This would be lovely for taking in the car because she likes to take snacks with her. So that'd be really nice. Oh my gosh. What is this? Oh, I don't know what that is. What is this one? It says it's machine wash. I don't, I don't want to open everything because I don't want to. It looks like it could be like, like, a, like a little pencil case. It's got a little zip on the top of it. That is so, so super cute. This is a proper little unicorn bundle, isn't it? Little bracelets, which are gorgeous. You can see there, like like little tiny. You can see there because the ring light's quite strong. Little tiny rubber bracelets, which are really cute. They kind of fold around her wrist and then they just go into the little loops there, which is lovely. Oh. oh, it's a jumper or a top. A unicorn top or a jumper, which is so lovely. Look at the size, it's quite big as well, which is perfect. Oh my gosh, she is going to be the unicorn princess. I'm so excited. <laughs> this is so cool. It's a toilet. It's a little toilet up. Oh, it's got a unicorn lid. That is, I don't know if you can see that. That is so cool. 
That is, the, I, th I think she's going to laugh at that, which is really cool. Oh, it's a pencil sharpener. Thank you so much. And we have, oh my gosh, this is a right little package. This one, this looks to be possibly unicorn putty. Some kind, cause it's got some sprinkles on the top of it. And I think you can add the sprinkles into that. That could be a putty, which is brilliant. She'll love doing that as well. And a unicorn bracelet. Oh, and last but not least, there are some little unicorn, some more unicorn bracelets. I think there's two different ones in there, maybe three actually. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Whoever has sent that, because there's no note with that whatsoever. It's completely anonymous. So again, if it's you who sent it, please pop down a note below. That is honestly so lovely of you. She is going to be one very excited little girl when she gets home from school today. Thank you. Okay, I've got two more items to open now. I'm going really flush. You can see my face going really red. It's like, it's because of my meds. I'm like going, Phew. So this one is, um, this is addressed to me, but it's Captain Corey also, and it's the P.O. Box. So again, if you want in the P.O. Box um, address, this is, I'm just making sure there's nothing else on there. So this is, oh, I'm going to drop it there. There we go, it's on there, which is amazing. Thank you so much. I said, I said, I don't know when this was sent, so hopefully it's, um, I always get so nervous because I have had a few parcels where they, they were intended for Corey and I've got quite upset because it's, he, he never got to see them, unfortunately, which is really sad. But this is a book. Okay. Oh, who's this from? So there's no note to say who this is from, but it is, it's addressed to me and Corey. So Drew, Moo and Bunny too. So this is Take a Ride on a Magic Red Carpet to a World of Dreams by Michael Morpurgo. I think Ebony had some of, the, some of his books. So every night Drew and his best friends Moo and Bunny fly to hidden corners of the world on a magic red rug. But one day the rug falls from the sky and the three find themselves on board a pirate ship captured by the fearsome Captain Jacqueline. Can Drew, Moo and Bunny find where they need to fly together once more? This was possibly meant for when Corey was here. Um, because Corey loves stories. Oh, there's a little, there's a little card inside it. This is Pixie. Okay. Oh, I love reading books. I love reading books to Corey. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm all ears. It says on the bottom there. It's absolutely gorgeous. And this is. I really hope that I can uh, read this. Um, dear Pixie. I thought you might like this book to maybe read for a story time video or to pass on to rainbows or whatever you choose. It was written about and dedicated to a lovely local boy, Drew, and includes a pirate adventure. I sincerely hope you like it, but completely understand it if not. Sending all my love to you and family. You're often in our thoughts. Rachel, a loyal Captain Corey crewmate. Oh my gosh. No, I do. I love. I will definitely read this on Corey's channel. Thank you so much, Rachel. Now, that is lovely. Um, I, I, I panicked then because I'm thinking, oh my gosh, that was meant to be for Corey and he never got to see it. But um, no, I, so I have actually um, been in contact with um, the people who wrote the story. I can't think who the, who the called now. So I read out a book on Corey's channel, uh, so which is Crack in the Box. Um, and it's one of those books you can customise yourself online and then they, you, they kind of send it you in print. And they've actually been in contact with me and actually offered me another story. Um, to read for Corey, which is amazing. So I am going to be reading some stories on Corey's channel and I will read this. So this is quite a big book, so it might be two or three videos, but this, I will read this. Please, please look out for this on Crack in the Box um, and then I will, I will read it on there for him. And then I might, I might, um, so I can't speak then, so I get like really emotional. I might um, then donate it to Rainbows to Hospice once I've read it. So yeah, that would be absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much, Rachel. That is a beautiful, beautiful gift. I love books. I love books. Corey adored stories. The fact it's about a pirate just makes it even more, more beautiful. And yeah, just thank you so much. That is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Thank you. Oh. I look forward to reading stories because I actually wanted to work with children. Um, one of the things um, you may not know about me is um, is before I became an eco warrior and all that, which I was, I used to live in trees and everything. That's how I met Spanky. Is I trained to be a nursery nurse. And I wanted to work with children, and one of my last placements um, refused to take me on because I'd got dreadlocks and I'd got piercings and things like that. And um, and so I was like, you know, 
stodgy, so I dropped out. And I kind of would love to work with children. I would love to read children's stories and all that kind of stuff. But looking the way I do, a lot of people don't really want their children around me. <laughs> so unfortunately, in this day and age, it shouldn't be an issue, but it is. So getting to sit and read children's stories out online is beautiful. Thank you so much. I love it. Okay, we have one last box here. Now, this has actually been here for quite a while. Um, it is addressed to me. It's, it's come to my home address, and I think it's from one of my friends. Um, I will open this bit because my dress is off there now. So there we go. It's got some Halloween stickers on it. I haven't actually looked inside it. As you can see, it's all still packaged up. There we go. It looks like it's full of Halloween stuff. Oh, and it comes with a note. So let's read what this one says here. So this has been here for quite a while. Um, so I'm not, but I'm not sure how long. It's addressed to Corey. Okay. Ooh, so, um, hi Corey. Beautiful writing, by the way. Hi Corey. I've been following and lurking for years as I've been in and out of hospital too. So I may not be overly familiar to you, but I've known that you've always had my virtual support. We purchased this painting print from an artist in Whitby and really want you to have it. Oh, so it was intended for Corey. The realism is a perfect escape to have on your wall. It may not have, sorry, I may not have seen it, but the strength I've seen you and your family is admirable to all of us. I'm so pleased to see people rallying around you to make all the impossible possible. You've touched so many hearts across the world, which is a testament to your beautiful soul. And of course, your gorgeous mama. Lots of love from Danita, Chris and Jax, the Frenchie. Oh, so Danita is someone that I know. Um, this was obviously intended for Corey, and he never got to see it. So I'm really sorry, Danita. I'm really sorry. Look at that absolutely gorgeous pa that, that that gorgeous paper, by the way. How awesome is that? And how look how gorgeous her writing is. So Danita, obviously, you know, you know, Corey has now passed away. Um, I'm sorry that he never got to see any of this. But if there's anything that I can put with Corey, then I will. He's still got his bedroom. I still put things in his bedroom for him. Um, and if there's, that I've seen here already, there are things to build, so I will actually do this and um, do it for him. So this is some Halloween, it looks, it's like little, little Halloween Lego-y type people, which is absolutely amazing. How, oh my gosh. So things like this, I can still build them and put them on Corey's shelves in his bedroom so he can still have them, which are amazing. They are beautiful. Corey loved Halloween. He was the one person in the family who absolutely adored Halloween. Oh, this one's for me, look, it's Pixie. So I don't do resin, I wish I did, but I can always use it for like like, um, like clay and things like that. I'd love to do resin, that'd be amazing. Oh, I love that, that is so adorable. I think these are things that I'm, um, so Danita has a site and I bought some things off her site, so I think this is probably what some of them are. We have some things here as well, which are amazing. I would like to start making resin art, but I know it's quite complicated and I'm not the most patient of people in the world. We have this gorgeous like a coaster, which is absolutely beautiful. So Danita makes a lot of things. She makes a lot of really awesome crafts. We have, I also have a little pumpkin mould there as well, which I don't know if you can see, which is absolutely amazing. And a bat, of course, that can go with Corey. I can take that down to Corey's resting place, actually, which is cute. And I think that's probably a glow-in-the-dark one as well, which is funky as. Got this. Oh, that's really cool. Oh my gosh. I love the paper. Is it a bag? Is it, it's paper. Oh my gosh. I think that's probably the coolest paper I've ever seen. Look at that. That proper sugar school stuff. It's really thick. It's almost like wallpaper. That is absolutely amazing. This is this the bit where I start to cry? Because um, if it's anything to do with Whitby, which obviously she said it is, um, Whitby is Corey's favourite place in the whole world. It's where he wanted to go and live. And um, unfortunately, I'm not going to go into it on video, but somebody stopped us from moving to Whitby when Corey was well enough to do it. So you know who you are if you're watching the video. So, um, but it actually turned out okay because we're happy here now, which is really good. So we have a lovely picture here that I'm going to open now. Okay, I've undone the picture and it is beautiful. It's a beautiful painting of, of, of Whitby Abbey. So for those of you who aren't in the UK, <clears throat> excuse me, and don't know where Whitby is, it's in North Yorkshire in the UK. It's famous. It's got um, 
So Dracula is kind of associated with Whitby. Um, that was the whole um, premise of Dracula. It's where the inspiration came from. And Whitby Abbey is an absolutely gorgeous place. And it's one of the first things you see as you're coming over the moors and you're going down into Whitby, you see the abbey there on the right hand side. It's beautiful. And this is Whitby Abbey. And that is the one place that Corey absolutely adores. Absolutely beautiful. Isn't that stunning? That's a gorgeous picture. So Corey really, really, really wanted to move to Whitby. Um, after his, his first transplant, I think it was his first one, um, he really wanted to move to Whitby more than anything. So we looked into buying a house and everything and then we were stopped by some amazingly lovely person who didn't want us to move there. So yeah, um, again, that is a ranty, ranty kind of thing in my head that I'm not going to go into on, on, online and give him the satisfaction. But it turned out brilliant because we're here, we love this house, we've got gorgeous YouTube studios and everything's fantastic. So we get to visit Whitby as, as a beautiful holiday now. Um, but this is a stunning place. And absolutely lovely that is a gorgeous painting whoever painted that is amazing thank you so much that is stunning and we also have a little this is really cool by the way have a little i think it's a magnet and as a finish off that is wicked look at that look which is really good so actually that was one of Corey's last photos that we ever showed in public at his at his his, his funeral was Corey doing this like, like giving the fingers, which you will, you guys will see soon. But and that is absolutely brilliant. Thank you. I'm glad we finished on that one because I was getting a little bit like mm -hmm. Whitby's a very emotional place for us. It's 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 just our favourite place ever. And um, yeah, we actually went there for the um, the month anniversary. Is that what you call it of Corey passing? We, we went there to commemorate Corey. And this will go in Corey's bedroom. I promise. I will go and put this in Corey's bedroom wall, and it will look absolutely beautiful. So thank you so much. And there, it was meant to be a super short video and I ended up going blah, 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 and wobble gobbing. So I just want to say an absolutely massive thank you to every single person again, like I said, who supports me on this platform, through this channel. Your subs mean the world. We are trying to get my subs up higher and higher. It was Corey's final wish to try and get my subs as high as possible. I'm trying my best to keep my channel going, even on days when I don't want to film. I'm crying. I'm in, the, in my pyjamas and I'm struggling. You guys keep me going. Seriously, you have no idea how much you keep me going. So thank you so much for everything. And honestly, please reach out on The Crap Goth, which is also on a Facebook page. But if you put anything naughty on there or you mean, you'll get kicked back off again. So just keep it nice, okay? But yeah, honestly, thank you all so much. You're amazing. Things like this help my days go past. It's lovely to hear from you all. Thank you for the books and the pictures and the presents for the rest of the members of the family. Thank you for things for Corey. It means a lot to kind of still see things with Corey's name come through the door, which is beautiful. And thank you for reaching out online as well. You're all absolutely amazing. If you like what you see, please do subscribe. Make sure you hit that little like button. Make sure you hit the bell icon to make sure you get all of the notifications when my rambling face comes up and you never know what you're going to get. All right. Thank you all so much. I'll see you all soon. Take care. Goodbye. Hello again. <laughs> right, so I got everything set down. I turned off the ring light and everything. And then the doorbell rang and I had another parcel delivered. And this is from Las Vegas. So how can I not jump on the end of this video and show you what it is? Uh, oh my gosh. So this is from someone called Laura Savage because her details are on the outside of the box, which obviously I'm not going to show. We have a beautiful card as well, which is amazing. So this is... This beautiful little gorgeous bunny amongst the stars. It's absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. It's stitched on. That's actually stitched. How pretty is that? So this says Pixie. Oh, it's sent in September. Pixie. I love the art on this card and grabbed it way before my babies were adults, just in case. Somehow I feel it was intended for you all along. On days when it feels like breathing is impossible, know that you've got a village to, to battle for you. I hope zero brings a smile to your heart. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for sharing Corey with all of us. You have all taught me so much. I am honoured to be able to support you. Much love, Laura. Oh my gosh, that is so nice. Look how beautiful that is. I've got this gorgeous box here. I'm just going to open it. So I've not opened it. I couldn't let this go without putting it on the end of this video lots of 
Oh, I know. She had zero. I know. I know now. So, oh my gosh. Thank you so much for this. This is something that I really, 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 really wanted. So I love Nightmare Before Christmas. I love it. And I will never get to go to Disneyland, ever. Like I will never get to go. It's just not one of those things I can afford to do. It's not something we can ever do. And I did put a bit of an ask out online to see, is anybody going to Disneyland? Can somebody please pick me up some Nightmare Before Christmas things? And um, obviously I offered to pay for them. <laughs> it's, um, but, and she she jumped up straight away and said, I've been and picked one up for you. And this is one of the things that I wanted so much. And it is a zero popcorn bucket from, from Disneyland. How amazing is that? Oh my gosh, it's huge as well, which is really cool. And I've never seen a, a, a popcorn, popcorn bucket from Disneyland before in real life. So look at that. That is amazing. Oh my gosh, look. And the Nightmare Before Christmas thing, so that can go around like this, which is amazing. And you can just carry Zero around. That is absolutely gorgeous. I love him so much. Oh my gosh. Thank you so, so much. Things like this, like Halloween things. For, um, I mean, the Halloween popcorn buckets I've seen are incredible. Not just the Nightmare Before Christmas, but anything Halloween is amazing. So this is absolutely stunning. I love it so much. Laura, thank you for doing that. I know that was a really big thing for you to do. And honestly, it's very, really, really kind. I absolutely love it. What a lovely surprise to get, because I was not expecting the doorbell to ring and for this to arrive today. So thank you so, so much. Hey, so from zero and from me and honestly, massive amounts of love to everybody. Thank you so much and I'll see you all soon. Goodbye.